to your October forecast. Now, number one and number zero, 10. Uh, it's a great month for manifestation. It's a great month for releasing things that you no longer serve or serves you. And it's a great month for beginnings. So you get to kind of feel a little bit of freshness because I know last month it was a bit tough. You had a few things that you had to look at. This month is going to be a lot easier for you, which I think is fantastic. Now, we're going to have a look at the four weeks of October's energy. So I'm using the Alistair Crowley pack today. Um, he's, his cards are slightly different to the originals. Um, he's a very, very clever man when it came to spirituality and all things esoteric. So his card, I quite, you know, I enjoy using his cards a lot. So I'm just, instead of doing, I'm going to split them. I just feel like we've got to do something different here for you today. Okay, excellent. So the first week's energy, what we have here is the hanged man. So the hanged man comes in, you can see here that he's actually not really tied up. He's not really a hanged man. Um, what he's doing is almost getting a different perspective. So he's hanging upside down just to get a better view of things or a different view of things. And the view can quite often mean that you need to change something in your life or you need to see things differently or it's time to change and your life in some aspect. So I really like the hanged man because he, he wants something good for you. He wants you to sacrifice something that you don't really need anymore for something very beneficial. So it's actually a very lovely space. And it's saying foresight here. You are you can predict what will happen and what will be needed in the future. It's not a curse, but an ability to use to your advantage. Listen to your gut instincts and repetitious, uh, repetitious thoughts. They are guiding you to a fulfilling life. So if you have been churning over some ideas of things you want to do or things that you want to let go of, well, you already must know what it is because they're saying, hey, you already know. You just got to actually implement it. Thanks. Radio. That one was there. Oh, the teacher. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. When the student is truly ready, the teacher disappears. You are ready, Capricorn. You are ready. So I kind of want you to run at whatever goal or ideas that you've got manifesting because this is saying, hell yeah, um, gallop as fast as you can towards it. You've got the foresight. So you're already in that energy and we haven't even got there yet into the first week. Um, and either there's going to be a teacher present themselves or you're going into teaching, but there's new knowledge coming in here. Uh, and it's really gonna be quite exciting actually for you. Yep, here we go. It's the rune of arrow. So focus, 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 uh, really get your teeth into it, really get excited in the first week, even if it's just jotting down your ideas. Uh, let's go into the second week here. And we have the Queen of Wands energy. So the Queen of Wands is a feminine energy and, and a fire energy. So it could be Aries, could be Sagittarius, or could be a Leo energy as well. And this person could be representing something to you or is present during this week. It may also mean that you need to take on the characteristics of that person. So, you know, fire signs are very go-getter people. Like, get out of my way. I've got, I'm, I'm charging ahead. They're very much like that. But they're also really full of energy and they're full of sass and they're full of ideas and they love business. So you could take on those ideas as well. And here it's saying release. When you bottle up your feelings, they find a home within your body, choosing a specific organ to affect. Sickness is a form of communication you need to recognize and heal, not only on a physical level, but on an emotional level. So someone around you or you may be holding on tightly to some emotion, to some uh, idea or some sort of trauma that happened, and it's found its way into your body somewhere. So you may be having a few aches and pains particularly, and maybe the fire sign is that you just want to be nice and warm and have the sun shine out to make you feel a lot better here. So um, ways of releasing emotion. Um, 
just sitting with them sometimes going, why am I holding on to that? I always say, please release energy that is not mine. And then you can also release the energy that is mine. <laughs> I say, because I do a lot of Reiki and I see a lot of people all week. So I'm always having to supercharge um, and I can sometimes do it poorly. You know, we're only human. Now you've got Libertine. So there's a few people around you. Someone's not changing around you and they're not going to change and you need to find acceptance there and it's all about security at the moment for you implementing stability and reliability in your life your work your home your car your sleep patterns finances relationships everything so the the, the second week here you're still charging ahead but maybe you're starting to be a little bit more brutal a little bit more like how a fire sign would deal with the situation so you're probably just watch your sharp tongue or just watch your words because people might be quite surprised that a capricorn i mean capricorns are very very business orientated and you're very clever but you're not always brutal and you may come across a bit brutal, but you may be dealing with someone who's not changing. And so you're kind of like, well, we just keep hitting our heads against the wall here. And what you're really desiring is some stability in your life, some practicality in your life. And so this person may be hindrance to you by receiving that. But with saying that, by releasing that from your body, it might actually help a little bit. Um, it could like maybe go and have a sauna and sweat it out. Um, maybe just go on a detox or something like that. Um, you've got the gateway to change here. So maybe actually implementing a fire energy might be with the change of it. It's kind of like, right, this is what's happening. This is how it's going to be. Blah, 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 blah. And get over it. Like you may have that tone um, and everyone will go, oh shit, she's serious. Or oh, he's really serious. Um, and then let's go to the next week. Number three, week three, we've got interference, the eight of swords here. That's a lot of swords around and you may feel like there's a big change and a lot of interference of people having their conversations around you or, or wanting to have their their like their like two cents into your conversations or maybe they're just wanting to be around your energy and, and wanting to take from it and, and, and I feel like you, if you're kind of doing this crazy abstract dance trying to please everybody and be everywhere and do everything and to your detriment unfortunately. Let's have a look here, so clarifies. But I still feel like there's this element of um, skill set. I feel like you're a samurai. You know, it's like, well, I'll just get my sword out and I'll go whoosh, 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 and you'll all be gone. So it's kind of like you've definitely got um, control in this situation, even though you are doing the dance of chaos. Um, you've got inaction here. When we refuse to move forwards, the universe will abruptly force us to. This is a warning to stop being stubborn and indignant. So that could be you or somebody around you who you do need to move and be action and also to bring back playfulness. Um, it's time to laugh and and enjoy life again. Be silly. Laughter is the best medicine and happiness is a choice here. I'm going to pick another uh, card as well. I see sun bacon coming in. So hopefully wherever you are, there's some sun. Uh, always slip, slop and slap. <laughs> Uh, we've also got wealth here, Capricorn. So it's all about give me the money, attracting money with abundance thinking and, and bringing all this in. So I think the third week is very busy um, and you're moving forwards, but it might feel a little bit like you're hitting, like each direction you go, you're kind of hitting something. It's a little bit like a staple. No, what's, what is it called when the horses jump over those hedges? It feels a little bit like, like everything's got to be over something. So watch your energy levels around this time, but you're also starting to make the money. So it's kind of probably going to be, you know, one of those things is that, yeah, I'm going to make the money, but I'm going to have to work and be creative around it to produce it and have all these people at me. Uh, now, the fourth week here, we've got failure. So seven of discs here. So you do need to start thinking about um, what you're doing with your money. Some serious conversations are going to go down either in the fourth week or over the time of October about cash flow, future things to do with your finances. 
because I think you're a little bit worried here that you're just wasting your money a little bit. There's lots of feathers everywhere. So if you see feathers this month, you know that the universe is sending you uh, little, little kisses of love. Yes, historically, heretics were burned at the stake as a form of purifying the spirit. Now is the time to metaphorically burn away and any emotional scars that are holding you back, release and move forwards. The whole time that I saw that though, rather than releasing, it was like, I think you're going to be a heretic. I think you're going to go against the grain. I think you're going to be the devil's advocate in a situation and people will want to burn you, but you don't because you've got purity of emotion and you're coming from a place of truth here. I'm just going to turn my heater off because I think I've cooked myself. Um, that's what it feels like here. It doesn't feel like you need to release. I think you're just going to stand up. And you're a light worker. You are meant to help others and elevate them to a high consciousness by giving advice, support, and living by example. So this kind of goes that you are stepping up into your power and you're doing things from your own truth. And it may not be to everybody's cup of tea. Um, what we've got here is there's people around you that are just very singular in their vision um, and may not like the way in which you are conducting your ideas. So um, it's interesting. I'll pull a couple of runes. Yeah, so there's hazards here that you have to be careful of. And also things happening fast. So that interference, you know how I said, oh, it's so busy. People are coming at you from every direction. I mean, are you somebody who struggles to say no? But with saying that, there's a whole lot of success coming from it. So that's probably why you're saying yes, because it's, it's benefiting you as well. So you're going to be, I think, a little bit torn at times this month between, you know, your own convictions and integrity, but also like other people's needs from you and also feeling that you need to offer your services to people as well. So there's a fair bit, but I mean, there is a little playfulness here. There's a lot of wins. Um, but yeah, just watch yourself getting angry because you might, when you're angry, you might be going Bleh! like this and actually hurting people's feelings here. I'm just, I'm going to be a bit naughty and use another deck. I just want to go back up here. Yeah, there's a little bit of heartache and oh, another, here it is again. We've got two fire sign women here. So it's making me feel that there's definitely some sort of female energy out there that is an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius that's going to bring around some sort of trouble. Could be heartache, could be sorrow, could be in just annoyance. But um, you've just got to go, you know what? They are what they are and we know what they are. And so a little bit of self-protection there. Hmm, interesting. I'm not quite sure how to sum all of your reading up, to be honest. There's a lot going on here. I mean, in the first week, there's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of awesomeness happening. And then there's this side angle that comes in with this fire sign energy that kind of pushes you off a little bit or pushes you off the trampoline. And you kind of like, you get into the next one and you're like, okay, well, I'm off the trampoline, but I've got all these other things I can do in the backyard. I'm not so worried about the trampoline anymore. And then you're having this fun and the money's coming in, but you're getting tired from running around the backyard. And then you get into the last bit and then, you know, you have to almost argue your state that you were pushed off the trampoline on the first place. And it's not your fault now that you're having a great time in the backyard. So it's just, it's an interesting kind of, journey that you're going to go through so wishing you the best let me know how you go i would love some feedback to see what happens at the end of the month for you thank you so much capricorn